back to Eyewitness News at noon. We continue to cover breaking news out at the Indianapolis Zoo. A ride malfunction on the popular Skyline attraction. This is the uh, gondola that gives guests an eight-minute ride across the Indianapolis Zoo uh, near the uh, west side of downtown Indianapolis. And right now, because of this malfunction, there are three gondolas with park guests inside that are trapped about 50 feet up in the air. They've got this cherry picker out there. Indianapolis Fire Department also on the scene. There are about two people per bucket that are stuck 50 feet up in the air, and so it appears as though crews may be trying to uh, get these guests out of the bucket that is stuck and bring them onto the, uh, that platform there and then perhaps bring them down to the ground. Earlier we were told that, uh, that crews were trying to reset the electricity, seeing if they could get it going again, but uh, those attempts appear to be unsuccessful. So you can see these guys, uh, apparently uh, firefighters who are there uh, wearing those, uh, uh, those helmets, appearing to help the two park guests who are in this particular bucket. Now, what we don't see from this particular vantage point uh, there are three buckets, apparently, uh, that are stuck on this Skyline attraction there at the Indianapolis Zoo. And so we understand right now that there is at least one person who has climbed out of the bucket onto this platform. And uh, again, there are about two different people, or uh, rather two people that are allowed onto this slow-moving gondola-style ride. And if you've been out to the zoo, you've probably seen it. It's, it's open. It's very popular. The uh, skyline, according to the uh, zoo, reaches heights about 50 feet up into the air. It's an eight-minute ride. Typically, gives you a nice perspective of the orangutan center that is uh, uh, recently built out there. But today, there's a malfunction with the gondola, and that has triggered this uh, uh, emergency response in terms of firefighters and other crews to try to get these guests who are stuck up in the air get them down safely. So again, we're continuing to monitor this live coverage here. Indianapolis Fire Department there on the scene trying to get these people safely on board. And uh, it appears as though maybe one of these firefighters has climbed inside of the gondola because initially we were seeing three of them up on this cherry picker, but now it appears as though one of the uh, firefighters may be inside. They may be preparing to uh, get those two people inside of the gondola bucket uh, may be harnessed up or put some sort of uh, safety equipment around them so they can make that uh, movement from the gondola over to the uh, cherry picker. So that may be what's happening right now. We understand that this similar uh, malfunction happened in October uh, trapping a number of people. So uh, this is maybe the second time in recent months where the uh, Indianapolis Zoo has had a ride malfunction with this particular attraction. So again, uh, this afternoon, it's uh, the good part is that we're not dealing with any rain. There are no storms here in downtown Indianapolis, so that's certainly a good thing. I mean, it's certainly uh, warm out there right now, judging by the temperature you see there in your screen, 83 degrees. But uh, one firefighter appears to be on one of these gondola buckets, another firefighter there on the cherry picker along with a, uh, an operator of that lift and appearing to uh, get ready to bring a couple of park guests down safely. Of course, that's the, uh, that's the attempt here. And again, what you don't see is you don't see uh, one person apparently has just come out onto the, uh, onto the lift and we are anticipating that there may be a second person uh, who, will be, uh, who will be brought out here. So uh, as I'm trying to get a better look at what's happening out there, it appears as though there is one guest. It appears as though it's a, a woman who has uh, that purse around her uh, neck, the uh, brunette there that you say seeing uh, standing right there in the middle of the lift. Uh, she is on board, and it appears as though there may be a second person still inside that gondola, a uh, person wearing a, a dark-colored shirt, and a firefighter is inside. So they've got one of the two people from this particular gondola safely onto the cherry picker as they continue to uh, uh, work to uh, free those people. And again, two other buckets with guests still need to be rescued as well. So uh, it appears at this point that they just have not figured out why the ride stopped 50 feet in the air, uh, but they have tried, I think, to go ahead and, and uh, and uh, restart the ride and get electricity powered, but that wasn't able to 
that wasn't able to happen. So again, you can see uh, the workers now, they've got that safety uh, harness around them. Uh, they were able to open and now close the door. And again, they're doing all of this uh, as safely as they can. And perhaps they're gonna be bringing this one woman down to the ground and then going back up to get this second person who's, uh, who's waiting. So imagine going out to the Indianapolis Zoo and you decide to, you wanna get a nice skyline attraction ride. It's supposed to take eight minutes. Maybe you get some nice pictures, hang out, look at the animals, see the orangutans, and you find yourself, you find yourself uh, actually stuck. But this particular woman is the first one off the gondola and she is coming down uh, safely down to the uh, bottom thanks to the quick work of these uh, firefighters and utility crews. They got that cherry picker up and you can see some of the other guests uh, standing there. They're snapping photos of what's happening so we imagine that this is uh, big news out at the Indianapolis Zoo for the uh, guests who are out there today. So a good start here to the recovery. We've got one guest who is on her way to the ground and we imagine that that'll continue going on throughout the afternoon. We'll be updating the story of course on WTHR.com through social media efforts and at least Nicole in terms of the weather it's a good day for this kind of a rescue to be taking place weather-wise. Yeah as of right now I know you mentioned